Right, the holidays are a magical time of year, and on Friday, Las Vegas magician and Michigan native Aaron Raditz will bring his special brand of magic to the Village Theater in Canton. And this morning, we're joined by uh, Aaron and his wife, April, to talk about the new show and to give us a sneak peek at some of what you can expect uh, Friday. Aaron, thank you so much for Canaan. joining us. A real thank pleasure. You. April, Hi, welcome. Thank you. Uh, so, Aaron, tell us a little bit about uh, what type of uh, magic you do. Tell us a little bit about your, your performance. My favorite thing to do is to combine all different types. You know, close-up magic is so popular, street magic, that sort of thing. That also with the big stage illusions, which has always been a big passion of mine. Right. So in a show, people will see all different gamuts ranging from one to the other. Mm -hmm. Also in the Canton show, we'll be using almost 35 people from the audience up oh, on stage. Okay. Little kids, grandparents, adults, the whole mix. They get to be a part of the show when we do the magic. So really, it's a fun experience for us. Keeps us on our toes. You bring people out of the audience. <laughs> right, and adds a little bit of uh, spontaneity. That's right. Because you never know what's going to happen. That's right. So tell us a little bit about how you got your start in magic. I started when I was six years old. My grandma Raditz gave me a magic set for Christmas. Okay. Pretty much every magician, well, not with grandma Raditz, but right. you know, well, they get a magic set for Christmas. That'd be kind of Christmas. awkward. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah. They learn magic, they get a magic set. It's a great base to learn from mm -hmm. and then I just did it all throughout high school, college, all that sort of thing and then went on the road and been on there ever since. All right, so uh, tell us a little bit. Uh, in fact, do you have a magic? Uh, I do, yes, yes, I do a piece of magic. Do you want to talk a little bit too about the Humane Society yes. tie-in? So we have, last year we started selling uh, tickets and books and portions of those proceeds go to the Michigan Humane Society and we're going to continue that again this year so, so portions of those proceeds we have rescue pets I was just going to ask uh, yes, how you select so the vets close that, to our uh, hearts and actually one of our dogs Dingo is mm -hmm. part of the show and she helps out with the magic yeah. okay yes. so you know there's potential for kids uh, some of our seniors yeah. and yes. dogs Dog in lovers, the show so lovers. yeah it sounds like a pretty good experience uh, you I asked see, about magic yes okay. I did so I said I began when I was young okay. I also got one of these for Christmas as well, jump rope. Yes. I was horrible at it, but scalpel, thank you. I did learn how to do a little bit of magic with that very jump rope. I wanted okay. to win the affection of my friends, so I told them I would do a little magic demonstration with that very rope, all right? Okay. Keenan, you get to be the close-up eyes for the audience. Okay, I'm looking. I'm gonna take the center, center comes to the top, we're gonna divide it into two. Two becomes four pieces, one, two, three, four, two ones. Now the best part about doing something like this, it's actually just an illusion. And the best right, part about say. an illusion is that it never really happens, as you can see right there. We could even do it a different way right here. Do you have some of a, do you have imaginary scissors like that? Uh, yes, absolutely. Right, you just trim that a little bit right there? There you go. Right, that, a little that, bit more right there? A little that, more? That, that, okay, that, that's good go. right there. I'll take that piece right off, put it right back into one. Well, can I do it one more time? Do you sure. mind? All right. No, 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 no. All right, let's see if they're watching carefully. My friends always would ask me, could you make a knot vanish? A knot vanish. I had never tried that before. I was quite intrigued, so I thought I would give it a try. Obviously, in order to make a knot vanish show, you are going to need a knot, which you'll get by simply this tying one right there at the top. Give it a little bit of a tie of this like this, uh-huh. And can I get a little, <laughs> little blow for good luck? And watch that knot. Melt right off, go right back into one, just like that. Wow. There you have it. And that's just a taste of what people... Oh, that's just a little taste, yes. Very okay. little taste. Well, now, if people are fascinated by this, and uh, that is definitely worth uh, a round of oh, applause. You. You're all too uh, kind. You're all, please, please sit down. Oh, oh, they are. Okay, I'm sorry. So are tickets still available? Yes, we do them? have. They're not a lot available, but we still have seats available. Uh, you can get them by going to the Canton. It's probably up there, but yes, cantonvillagetheater.org. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's one of those venues, we were talking about this earlier, there's not a bad seat in the house. Right. So it's a really intimate venue, only 400 seats, and it will sell out, and uh, we hope to see some of our old school Michigan friends there. And you said uh, only 400 seats. Tell us a little bit uh, for the folks at home, what's the difference between seeing it in a big venue and a more intimate venue? Well, the great thing about a venue like this is uh, when I do a venue where there's a couple thousand seats, people are far back. They always say to me after the show when we're doing meet and greet, if I was up front, I would have seen how it worked. Right. You know, that's, so this venue, you have no excuse. You are up front. You're close. You're seeing everything firsthand, and they still won't know how it works. And I let hope. me tell you. I'm standing right next to him, and I don't know how it works. So definitely come on out uh, to Canton and check out Aaron Raditz. Thank, thank you so you much so for much. joining us. Thank you. April, thank you thank for you joining for us. us. You can come out, have a great time, and support the Michigan Humane Society.